guys, it's your boy, Barca Boy 103. Just finished watching the match, and Barcelona actually lost. They lost 2 1 to Granada at the Camp Nou. A match where Barcelona could have went top of the table with the win, and they didn't, they didn't just drop points, they dropped all three points in what was an absolutely horrendous performance. Ronald Koeman got sent off. League title is now not in our hands anymore. We have to rely on Real Madrid dropping points again, and now we have to beat Atletico Madrid at the Camp Nou. Just for the, like, what, 10th time this season, Barcelona did an opportunity again, and they choked it. They're bottlers. The whole entire team and the players are a bunch of bottlers. Into this video, this video is sponsored by the One Football app. It's an absolutely brilliant football app that I've been using now for the past few years. It's the best in my opinion. It has everything you need. Breaking news, transfer news, videos. You have all the matches in the top five leagues in one spot, or you can even add more leagues. I believe it has 160 different leagues. And also, you can follow your favorite football team. Of course, for me, it's going to be Barcelona. You can have, you know, predictions. It tells you the next games. You have news about it as well. You have a nice little place where you can see all the tables for Champions League, Copa del Rey, Super Cup, La Liga. You can have the squad list as well. You can see all the first team players of Barcelona and some of the Barcelona B players as well. Nice little spot for transfers as well for everything that's linked to just Barcelona. And during the match, there is live voting of the man of the match but what i love about this app the most is when we score it tells you who assists it tells you if it's a penalty or an own goal some apps don't do that it's absolutely brilliant of course it has full-time stats as well offside possession it also has news on la liga transfers on la liga and stats as well top score assists red cards yellow cards this is by far the best football app out there and the best part is it's free so top link in the description down below give it a go you won't be disappointed starting lineups on the screen right now it was a rotation side from Arnold coleman a little bit of rotation here and there ter stegen and goal a back three mingueta pk and Oak Titi, wing backs being Roberto and Jordi Alba. Three in the midfield were Busquets, De Jong, and Elias Mariba. And the two strikers up front were Messi and Antoine Griezmann. First goal came in actually from Barcelona. Busquets lays it off to Messi, and Messi gives it to Antoine Griezmann. He does a beautiful turn that sends two Granada defenders to the shops. Gives it back to Messi. Messi's through on goal. Drills the ball in right-hand corner, and that made a 1-0. Beautiful link-up play between Griezmann and Messi again. That gave Barcelona the lead. Second goal came in from Granada to make it 1-1. It was just... Uh, it was one through ball was what all it took. One through ball. Mingueta with a very, very, very poor touch. Mashish is through on goal. I don't know why they're saying he's going to come out. He came out like 20 seconds too late. Mashish shoots. He scores. And that made a 1-1. Next goal again came in from Granada. I tell you what, I don't even know what I witnessed on this goal. And it was just a simple cross. It was a simple cross from Granada. They crossed it in. Their 39-year-old striker looks about 50. 39-year-old striker, heads it in, made it 2-1. I felt like Ter Stegen was poor on that one. Omtiti was poor, should have closed him down. PK, you know, tried to win the header, he could have won it. And just made it, 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 just capitulation, and that made it 2-1. Team performance on the night, I'm going to give the team performance overall a 4 out of 10. Uh, the second half was just... <sighs> First half, it was okay. First 10 minutes, we tried to, you know, get into the game, read Granada a bit. From, like, the 10th minute to the 40th minute, we're doing very, very well, getting a lot of chances. Again, Barcelona, by the way, missed so many goddamn chances in this game. And it's just that second half, we just folded, absolutely folded. It's just, we didn't have nothing going forward, and every attack Granada looked like they were going to score. Honestly, it was just abysmal. Abysmal from the whole players. They're all jokes. They all... Again, this is like this is not the first time this season. This is the first time that you know what players, you know, they're fatigued, blah, 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 blah. One, you know, mistake, not the end of the world. This is their hundredth time doing it this season for crying out loud. They bottled it again. Another chance given to us on a silver plate with a nice cherry on top. And we choked it again. It's just the players had nothing going forward. Maybe it's all these games coming in at once. That could be, you know, an argument. But, like, it's just, ah, oh, it's, it's so hard to explain because it's just... It just looks like they didn't have any energy. It looks like they didn't care. It looks like they had nothing going forward. Every time they was a chance in the box, bad touch, bad pass, bad turn. It just wasn't in it. it just the players were not there today. So 4 out of 10 for the whole team tonight. Let's now get into the player ratings. We're going to start off with Ter Stegen in goal. I'm going to give Ter Stegen a 4 out of 10. Passing out from the back was very poor. Both the goals, I think he could have done better. The first one should have came out early. I don't know why he came out freaking five minutes later. Second one... I'm not going to give him too much criticism on the second one. I felt like he thought that PK was going to win the header, and the header came from him, you know, out of nowhere. So if he was more attentive, if his reaction was a bit better, he maybe could have got a hand to it and saved it. But I won't give him too much slack. It's the first one that really annoys me for me. He should have came out way, way earlier. Don't know why he didn't. 4 out of 10 for me. Into the right center back, it was Oscar Mingueza. I'm going to give Mingueza a 5 out of 10. His performance was a 6 out of 10, pretty much just like the whole entire team, which is average. But I'm docking him one point for that bad touch that led us to the conceding that freaking trash goal. And again, he got subbed off when he went to the bench and looked disappointed. And I'm disappointed too. It's just, pff. don't think he was bad on the night, but just like everyone else, he was average. So I'll give him a 5 out of 10. Sancho center back was Gerard PK. I'm going to give PK a 6 out of 10. Again, did nothing wrong. Could have maybe won the header for the second goal. You know, went forward at the end. Could have gotten like, the goal. It's just, just, just sluggish from the whole entire team. Maybe give him a 5 to be honest, because I felt like his defending on that first and second goal could have been better as well. 
I'll give it a five. It was just 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 average, just pretty much average. Left center back was Umtiti. Again, Umtiti, I'll give him a five out of ten. Felt like he could have come in for that Molina goal, you know, pressured him a bit, so made the header a bit more difficult. But again, throughout the game, he was average. He had that great tackle in the first half from his old shot, by the way. I thought that was good. Other than that, his passing out of the back was very, very good, which you expect from Samuel Umtiti. Defending was, you know, eh, then, you know, I guess because my mood is down, I'm just going to give everyone a low rating, but that's just how I feel at the moment, so I'll give him to a 5. Into the wing backs now, let's start with Sergio Roberto. I'm going to give Sergio Roberto a 2 out of 10, and my flop of the match, let him go. Do not sign him on a new contract. I tell you what, there's other players out there who can, you know, be that utility player, can fill in everywhere. He's just useless, absolutely useless. This guy cannot cross, cannot touch, cannot pass, cannot shoot. Uh, how did he play the whole game? That's why I'm going to talk about it in Coleman's rating. How Coleman played this guy for the full 90 minutes, I do not understand. What has Des done to be dropped? Des played the better. Des played 45 minutes against Villarreal and was better in that 45 minutes than Roberto was in the 45 minutes in the second half of that game against Villarreal and the full 90 for this game. Uh, like Roberto has to go. Either you play him in the field. I don't want to see him on the right hand side anymore. Right back, right wing, back, right wing, right anything. Nothing with right. I don't want to see Roberto there. Maybe in the midfield he has a little bit of a chance, but again, we have Mariba coming through, we have Ricky Poch. All the, well, I don't even know if we have Ricky Poch. I haven't seen that guy play in nearly five months. But Roberto was just absolutely woeful. Woeful, woeful, woeful. Two out of ten for me. Left wing back was Jordi Alba. I'll give Jordi Alba a five out of ten. Again, just lucky, just like everyone, the whole rest of the team. I felt like going forward today, he was very, very poor. None of his crosses, you know, connected. None of them, you know. He was just basically a speedster. He was basically, you know, beep, beep, beep down the left hand side, but didn't do anything. Like, defending, I don't even know if he went back to defend a bit. I give. He did nothing, did nothing, 5 out of 10. Into the midfield now, which I was Sergio Busquets as that CDM. I'll give Busquets a 7 out of 10 and my man of the match. That first half was just, ah. I could watch that first half compilation for days, for days. He was superb. Interceptions, tackles, clearances, pass. His passing was, oh. Second half, he was crap, just like the whole rest of the team. But first half, I'm going to talk about that first half. World class. I would have given, if, we've, if we end up winning that game, I would have given him a 9, honestly. It was just... That first half is exactly what you expect from Busquets. He's just world class, the best CDM ever to play the game. The second half, like the whole rest of the team, he dropped off. So overall, I'll give him a seven out of ten. Into the right midfielder was Frankie De Jong. I'm gonna give Frankie De Jong a five out of ten. Same thing, nothing going forward. He missed that, you know, chance in the second half. He looks so damn tired, the guy. He needs some rest, but he ain't gonna get it. We have two big games against Valencia and Atletico. We lose both, or we drop points in any of those games. The league is done. So he ain't going to get any rest, but he looks so damn tired. He offered nothing going forward and nothing in the defense as well. Probably one of his worst performances of the season. I'll give him a 5 out of 10. Left hand side of the midfield was Elash Mariba. I'm going to give Mariba a 6 out of 10. I probably should give him a 5. I don't want to cut him some slack. You know, I felt like he, did, he didn't do that bad. I know a lot of people in my live stream were saying that he was very, very poor in that first half. I thought he did okay. He has some nice turns. has a nice interplay between Jordi Alba, Antoine Reason, and Messi as well. Second half, just like the rest of the team, he dropped off completely, got subbed off. So overall, I'll give Mariba a 6 out of 10. Into the forwards now, we're starting with Antoine Griezmann. I'll give Griezmann a 6 out of 10. Got that beautiful assist for Messi. Give him credit for that. But he should have had two goals. There's that one chance in the first half where he had that open shot. Hit a shred at the keeper. Did You know, like, he didn't even hit it. Like, he hit it literally right, literally right beside the keeper, which at least make the keeper work for it, for crying out loud. Second half, he had a nice chance in the box where he turned. He should have scored that one as well. But overall, I thought he played well in that first half. But again, second half, just like the whole entire team dropped off. So I'll give him a 6 out of 10. And finally, the other striker was Leo Messi. I'm going to give Leo Messi a 6 out of 10. That's probably my lowest rate I gave to him this season. <sighs> Besides from the goal, I mean, he attracted a lot of fouls. He got some Granada players. He got yellow cards. But again, free kicks. Someone give him, like, his free kicks have been so poor. He scored two this season, good for him. But every single free kick he has, he hits the wall, hits the wall, over, wall, wall, over. Like, uh, I'm just pissed off. I don't want to, you know, probably people are going to slate me in the comments for saying that. Because, you know, oh, Messi's one of the goats of free kicks. I'm just pissed off. Like, I'll give him a 6 out of 10. You know, he did what he had to do. Yeah, yeah 6 out of 10. Into the subs now, I believe the subs were Trincao, Pedrin de Bele. Too little, too late. They all came on with like the last 10 minutes, last 15 minutes. Give them all 6 out of 10. And finally, the manager, Ronald Koeman. Uh, of course, got a red card in this game, and he will be out for that Valencia game. I'm not too sure if he'll be there for the Atletico Madrid game or not. We'll see. I'm going to give Ronald Koeman today a 4 out of 10. Give him credit for rotation. Lineup was good. Can't fault that. Where were the subs? I'm telling you, man. How did Roberto play the... See, please, please, please. I want to just talk... If I could ask one question to Ronald Koeman, I'd ask him, why did Roberto play the full 90? Uh, uh, I can't believe it. Why is Ricky Push not warming up? You should have just left him at home. At least have someone else that you can use on the bench. Like, why are you bringing on Predi? What's the whole point of resting him? 
You have, you know, Ricky Poch on the bench, you have Milan Piatch on the bench, you could, you know, do make a difference. Again, not using all your substitutions, not changing it. You saw the first half wasn't that great. Why don't you change it and make some tweaks, do something. After Granada scored to make it 1-1, you should have made some subs then, and you didn't. You left it all at the last second like you always did. Then you got red carded. I'm just, uh, Coleman, Coleman, Coleman. He choked it again. He choked it again. Like... No, no, I'm not giving him no, I'm not criticizing him anything for that starting lineup or the rotation. I think it was perfectly fine, but the team didn't play well. He didn't change anything. Then he didn't make any subs. He didn't, you know, make an influence on the game. Got sent off as well. At the end of the day, Ronald Coleman cost us this match because he didn't make any changes and he made them all, you know, very, very late. Again, not blaming him fully for this, you know, defeat, but he does have a part in it, not making the subs, not making any tweaks, not making, not, he really just stood there and did nothing, did nothing until he got sent off, talking to Alfred Shoot on the phone. Yeah, yeah, bring on to Pedro, maybe he'll save us. Overall, from Coleman for me, 4 out of 10. So that was my match review for Barcelona versus Granada in La Liga. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You probably didn't, but if you did, leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below, of course. Let me know your player ratings and your thoughts on the manager and the performance as well. I tell you what, it's a big, big blow for Barcelona. We can still win the league, but it's not in our hands anymore. Uh, if we drop points against Valencia or Atlético Madrid in both those games, it's 100% done. We have to it's must win both games. Must win for the rest of the season, for crying out loud. But those two games are an absolute must win. No drop points whatsoever. And now we have to rely on Real Madrid dropping points. Um, it's a big, big blow for Barcelona. We really thought we could win this league. Again, butlers, the whole entire team, the coaching staff, bunch of freaking butlers. Every time they give an opportunity, every time they get given an opportunity on a silver plate, they don't take it. And it's absolutely, it's just, we got some news early before the game as well that Messi wants to stay now too. I bet you that's going to change now. So I don't really know if I'm going to upload a match analysis video tomorrow. Um, I haven't decided yet. I really don't want to analyze this game. I just want to, you know, move on from it. But we'll see what happens anyways. I'll see you guys next time on the channel. Take care and always Forza Barca. Let's go, let's go.